What's up, everybody? My name is Jack, uh, and I created Zap. Uh, and I'm first of all, I'm really thankful uh, to be here. I got invited to talk here, obviously. And I'm chatting it up with Harrison of BTC Media. And I'm like, all right, man, I'm here. What do, what do I talk about? I don't know what to talk about. And he's like, oh, I don't know. Just, just get up there and talk about lightning and just, rent, you know. And so I'm sitting, I'm talking with my dad. I'm like, dad, I don't know what to talk about. And they're like, well, why do you, why do you like lightning? Why is lightning important to you? Uh, so I said, okay, that's going to take me a second. And, <laughs> right. And uh, I, I always commonly say this. I say with lightning that there's no asset in the entire world that physically settles and clears faster and cheaper than Bitcoin. I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like self-clearing. And I'm rambling, and this is some word salad, but this is what I, I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to talk about self-clearing uh, with Lightning and understanding clearing and settlement in the history of assets and why with Bitcoin we have the fastest settling and, and clearing asset of all time. I'm going to try and tackle that in 10 minutes. <laughs> all right. So what is settlement and clearing? Does anyone really know in finance what settlement and clearing is? Probably not, right? So in banking and finance, clearing denotes all activity from the time a commitment is made for a transaction until it's settled, okay? And this is the idea of settling actual physical value or clearing value. So it's almost like there's some timeline, right, where there's a commitment between two parties that want to transact but then it settles, and you're like, bruh, like, <laughs> what? What happens in the middle of that? Like, there's a time and there's a sequence in the middle of that. What's actually, what's going on? And to understand this whole idea of settling and clearing, uh, we have to go all the way back to the 1700s. So this is my 1700s picture. We've got Sir Geoffrey and Henry and, so like, Sir Geoffrey, I would like to exchange with you a check. And Henry's like, well, why is that grand, right? And so we've got Joffrey and Henry in the 1700s, and Joffrey is banked on the east side of London, okay? Joffrey's bank's way east in London, and Henry's bank is way west in London, and Joffrey wants to send Henry $5. Now, how does Joffrey accomplish that? Back in the 1700s, he would write him a check, right? So Joffrey writes Henry a check, and Henry goes, Joffrey! <laughs> Silly, I don't know what to do with this piece of paper. I can't change that for bread, right? I can't give that to my kid when he goes off to play at the park. So what actually happens? What happens is Henry brings the check to the bank and the bank in the 1700s would take the physical cash, walk it across London to the other bank and settle the check, clear the check, right? Like your check is cleared. It would clear the check physically by walking cash between banks. What ended up happening in the 1770s is all of the banks were like, yo, this is ridiculous. I'm walking like five miles a day to clear this fucking check. Like, this is absurd, right? Uh, unbelievable. So they would all meet at Five Bells Tavern in London. It was a pub. It was a bar. And as soon as the banks closed, all the bankers would go. They'd have two boxes. They'd have a box for the checks and a box for the cash. And they would clear. They would settle with each other. They would settle it, right? There was a book that was written by this guy named Charles, and he goes on to explain how they would walk in and they were organized in a bar in a tavern in London, and they would all clear checks with each other, okay? Um, what they ended up doing, too, is the amount would be credited and debited from the accounts, but they would actually settle later, right? So for the user experience, like, oh, Sir Joffrey, you gave me this check. Your account's now debited or credited five bucks, but we'll go settle at the pub later. Don't worry about it. There's no way you guys are going to write enough checks to clear my whole banking account, right? And there's this now introduced this idea of debit and credit on accounts and settlement and in clearing. Um, but still, we're like, what? Like, I commit to a transaction, then like something fancy happens at the pub. You guys are drinking and like doing irresponsible things, and then you settle my transaction? That's ridiculous. Um, and now we evolve. So then in the 1900s, we got the Federal Reserve check clearing system. Uh, Woohoo, who said that? Yeah. Um, and the objective was to, quote unquote, prevent occasional panics. Because God forbid someone wrote you a check from someone that wasn't solvent. I can't settle that. I can't credit you that. And the Federal Reserve was here to grant us certainty. There was no way anything was going to clear wrong. 
And now it even got its way into market. So we weren't now just clearing checks. In Chicago, there's the OCC, the Options Clearing Corporation. And they clear bonds, they clear derivatives, they clear options, financial binding contracts. There's legal binding to these contracts. So now even there isn't just a, a bra meme. Now there's actually legal binding in between commitment and settlement. And these clearing houses step in and they handle all the legal bindings of like an issued bond option, right? Something like that. And today, the United States clearing system that started with Sir Geoffrey and Henry in the pub is now the most powerful clearing system. It clears trillions of dollars in credit in, in issues debt, right? I, something about it's bad for our privacy and they also control the inflation rate or something, but it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it's tweak, it's real tweak. Um, so yeah, how do we settle in Bitcoin? So Bitcoin's a money, right? If I want to transact with my parents, that has to get settled somehow. What, what is settlement in Bitcoin? Well, it's this like blockchain thing, right? It's these peers on the network where when I make a transaction, when is that officially cleared? When is that settled? When is the ledger of all transactions updated in the pub? Well, it's when I get a blockchain confirmation, right? That's when my transaction is cleared. And so this is historically how Bitcoin's worked. And there's been some haters like Jamie Dimon, hater, He's like, yeah, that's cool, but the Federal Reserve can clear my transaction instantly. The Federal Reserve can, can, can clear. I, I know exactly when I post at the Federal Reserve or with a clearinghouse, exactly when they're going to clear. They can clear smaller amounts. They can clear cheaper than you, right? And there are some red herrings to Bitcoin, right? Fees vary. There is no fundamental fee. The Federal Reserve charges for the banks that bank with the Federal Reserve, they charge a strict uh, defined variable fee, right? Uh, or settlement times, if I broadcast at two Satoshis per byte, right? I, don't, I actually don't really know when my transaction is going to clear. It kind of depends. There's some context in there that's important. Um, but settlement has innovated not only in traditional finance, but in Bitcoin, right? So for a broker that clears with a clearinghouse that trades, the broker, they do what's called aggregating their trades, is instead of getting charged every trade, I'm going to take all of my clients' trades and put it in one and get charged one time. And in Bitcoin, what do we call that? We call it batching. It's not aggregating, right? But this is the same type of settlement innovation. In traditional finance, brokers batch trades. In Bitcoin, exchanges batch payments, right? So there's some, some innovation. Uh, but then, like, oh no, I can't play the video. Then this happened. So. Right now, this video was me paying, I think it was $5 for no fee, and it settled instantly to play a gambling game, right? And everyone's reaction in this room should be like this, seriously. I mean, I know we've seen it all on Twitter, we've seen the lightning torch, but the fact that we can take physical value and settle it and clear it in seconds and for essentially free dating back to the 1700s is an absolute breakthrough in like money as we know it okay so who settled and cleared the transaction of lightning like how the fuck are you guys kidding me that i can send money from chicago in my bedroom to australia and it settles and clears in a second not 10 minute block times i know exactly the fee i paid before i sent it Who's clearing and settling that? Is the Federal Reserve on the Lightning Network and they're handling all the legal documents of transferring my stuff to Tippin.me? How's that? Who's clearing that? Um, right? So we've got this traditional outlook on commitment, clearing firms, and settlement. And that's who cleared my Lightning transaction. It was Lightning Node 03634B, right? They crafted some financially binded contract that we call smart contracts in Bitcoin. We cryptographically signed it, and it cleared in seconds, right? We've got these nodes all on the network, these peers, and they're almost self-clearing what they were doing at the alehouse in London in the 1700s, what the Federal Reserve started in 1913, what's happening at the OCC in Chicago for exchanges like the CME. All of us are doing it. We're self-clearing financially binding contracts with cryptographic signatures that clear and settle real money physically in seconds, okay? So if Lightning can do that, can fiat do that? No. Well, what about silver? No. Well, what about gold? No. Right? This should, like, this should be a mind-blowing thing, okay? So Lightning is better than Bcash. Yeah, sure. Lightning should be used on exchanges. Okay. 
Lightning will be used to buy coffee. No, lightning is better than Visa. Lightning will be used to buy weed. Lightning will never be used. Lightning will always be used. The truth is like nobody knows, okay? Nobody really knows what lightning is gonna be used for. But what gets me excited about lightning, what I wanna talk about physical settlement and clearing on an asset class that's natively digital, is that we went from Sir Joffrey to Bitcoin 2019. The fundamental change that's happening here should be what we focus on, okay? So we were physically settling cash between banks and local bars, and it would take days, right? In London, the London Ale House. Today, we're digitally settling smart contracts, quote unquote. We're physically settling HTLCs, cryptographic signatures between network peers in seconds. The transformation is amazing. So I want to end it by saying that if money is a technology that's constantly innovating, that why I like Lightning and what it motivates me about Lightning and gets me so excited about Bitcoin is that the Lightning Network represents a monumental innovation and advancement in physical settlement and clearing in finance. It supersedes any uh, Vitalik Buterin smart contract of trading uh, cartoon ponies. This is real smart contract, this is physical settlement, this is advancement in money as a technology. This it supersedes computer science, it supersedes any other cryptocurrency or altcoin. We are making monumental improvements in how we physically settle value. So, thank you guys. Uh, that's what excites me about Lightning. I'm Jack Mallers on Twitter, hit me up.